Welcome back to Ten Island Gaming. Today we have a battle between wood elves and uh, orcs and goblins, mostly orcs. Uh, I'm fielding wood elves and this is my army. For general, I have a spell weaver level 4. He carries the earthing rod, ruby ring of ruin, talisman of preservation, and he's on an elven steed. He has the dark magic. For heroes, I have a BSB. He has the hail of doom arrow, charmed shield, dragon bane gem, and just a spear. For core, I have three units of uh, Glade Guards, just with Musician and uh, True Flight Arrows. Then I have 25 Eternal Guards uh, with Musician and Banner. They have the Banner of Eternal Flame. For special, I have uh, six Treekin, three units of six Wild Riders with Shield. And then I have uh, eight sisters, sisters of the Thorn with Standard of Discipline and Full Command. For rare, I have two eagles. That's my 2400 points of wood ups. I rolled up Blade Wind, Word of Pain, Doom Bolt, and the Black Horror. And the sisters, of course, they have Shield of Thorns and Curse of Underhit. This is my 2400 points of Orson Goblins. They are led by Grimgor Ironhide. And I also have a level 4 Great Shaman with Talisman of Preservation. I have uh, Black Orc Big Boss, he has the Glittering Scale and Luck Stone. And for core, we have 39 big guns with ad additional hand weapons, 2 times 5 Wolf Riders just with the Musician, uh, 11 Orc Area Boys, and for special, we have 39 The Mortals, full command. Three wolf chariots, one orc boy chariot, and for rare, two rock labas, one pump wagon, and one magla squeak. And for spells, fist of cork, hand of cork, here we go, and foot of cork. Horse and Goblins movement phase. Uh, I failed the uh, animosity test with both my uh, uh, wolf riders. Uh, Charles is the closest enemy. Otherwise, I just moved up everything. Uh, Magic and shooting. For Magic, I got six dice. Uh, only have foot of gork and hand of gork that I wanted to cast. I managed actually to kill. Uh, hit five wild riders and kill four of them and then he dispelled the, the small version of hand of cork for shooting uh, I missed both the shots move to wood elves I forgot the close combat here uh, they killed me before I managed to hit back In the movement phase, I charged the Wild Riders into his Goblin Wolf Chariot. Uh, yeah, I shuffled around here, back down the Wild Riders and the Eagle. Backed slightly with the Archers, moved these to the right. And here I just shuffled around. Hide my bunker here behind the trees. And uh, the Wild Riders here behind the rock for some late game awesomeness. Now it's on to Magic and Shooting. In the Magic and Shooting phase, for magic, I got 12 dice. First I cast Blade Win on his Black Orc unit, and I got extremely lucky, I think. Killed 8. Killed 8 by that spell. And then I cast uh, Doom Bolt. And then I also have an extra D3 because Wrath of the Wood. 
So I think I killed 11 with the Doombolt. Yeah, you didn't miss, miss a single one. No, so total 19 casualties from the, them. Uh, then in shooting, I killed the Mangler Squig. I think I took two wounds with the Ruby Ring of Ruin and then some archers finished him off. And then uh, took one wound from the Boar Sheriff and uh, two from the Big Guns over there. Uh, now it's on to close combat. Uh, in the close combat phase, the Wild Riders killed the Wolf Chariot and uh, overran. Now it's on to Orcs and Goblins turn two. In the movement phase, uh, I had two charges: uh, the Wolf Riders, uh, the, the Wolf Chariot, and the Boar Chariot in the sisters there. Uh, and then I tried to get in with the doom, with the pump wagon, but it failed its uh, dangerous chain test. It took five wounds. Swift reformed the arrow boys. Moved the level four in this big guns unit. Moved back the chariot here. Uh, winds of magic. We got eight, eight dice. Uh, six dice to the big version of foot of cork. But he dispelled it with his seven dice. Uh, I managed to get on a small version of Hand of a Gork of this unit here. Uh, moved them up 12. And for shooting, did miss fire with this one. Uh, it explode. The other one failed its panic test and couldn't shoot. These ones tried to get the wound off these uh, riders here. Failed. Over to close in combat. For the combat here, I managed to do uh, I think eight impact hits, uh, six of them wounds, but he saved six. Only two yeah. died from the impact hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I managed to kill off four. He did two wounds on the boar chariot, and no one on, no wounds on the wolves. Uh, so one by one, but he stayed. Over two wood elves. Uh, the only charge I had was the tree kin into the flank of the chariots. Then I moved up the wild riders over there to get behind. Uh, also moved the eagle and the remaining wild riders in this unit to block off Grimgor and his immortals. Here I just shuffled around the archer slightly. They moved forward a bit in the woods and uh, the wild riders went there to kill the stone thrower next turn hopefully. Now it's on to Winds of Magic and shooting. Uh, in the magic phase I started off with Curse of Underheed from the sisters. I got Irresistible Force and uh, two sisters died. From the Curse of Underheed, yeah it's on, and then uh, I cast a big version of Doombolt, Doombolt uh, killed seven. And then from shooting from the three archer unit I killed three more black orcs. Now it's on to close combat. In this close combat phase, um, I managed to kill the chariots and I reformed the tree king as you see. Now it's on to Orcs and Goblins turn 3. Because of the curse of the An Anrahir, uh, I charged out with only Grimgor, but he managed to fail his. Dangerous train test, took one wound. Uh, this one failed their animosity and had to charge this guys here. Swift reform here, moved up the chariot. Over to Winds of Magic and shooting. Winds of Magic, I uh, got Snake Eyes, uh, small version of Hand of Gork, moved them 10 inches uh, for shooting. I made a direct hit on his uh, level 4 wizard. Because of their too few in the unit, he couldn't do look out, sir, but he managed the ward save. Over to close combat. Close combat. Grimgor finished the bird off. Over to Wood Elf turn 3. I charged the Wild Riders into his Rock Lobba. Uh, these Wild Riders managed to charge the Wolf Chariot. Uh, reformed the Tree King, as you see, and moved my Mage and BSP over there. Everything else 
basically stood still. Now it's on for magic and shooting. In magic phase, I cast the little version of Doombolt and got a miscast. I got Calam Calamitous Detonation and I lost uh, five dice and also one wound on my wizard. Uh, in the shooting phase, I yeah killed the last Black Orcs. And then I think I killed two of these boys as well. Now it's on to close combat. In the close combat, the Wild Riders killed the Rock Lobba and the other Wild Riders killed the Chariot. Uh, Grimgor destroyed the Wild Riders here and reformed as you see. And now it's on to Orcs and Goblins turn 4. Failed the uh, animosity test here, but I forgot the turn before that I have uh, the BSBs BSB in there. So uh, quell animosity and I killed three of my own. Turn this once round. We're going to go in the flank of the Trekins. Managed to get Snake Eyes again. And uh, my opponent got a uh, channel. So two dice against two. But I managed to get him. Here we go there. For shooting. Kill the Wild Rider. Move it to combat. For close combat, uh, Grimgor did three wounds here, uh, they reformed, uh, and here he did 12 wounds to me, and I only did nine back to him. Uh, so I needed four to stay, but uh, I failed it, and he caught me. I think we call it there, I only get Grimgor left and 11 uh, area boys here. It's a big win for the Woodwells. See you next time.